Okay, hi, welcome on in. It's going to be a very short tutorial. I'm going to show you how to go from having your fur like this to having your fur like this, which blends in much nicer. And as you can see, this doesn't require you to fix up your faces or topology. You can just literally shove them in and it looks all right. So what we want to do, I'm going to go over to Kid. He's going to be my example today. Now, I've already done it on the chest here, so you can see how that blends in compared to how it blends in here. I'm going to use this, these tufts on the side to show this as an example. So, first thing that we want to do, we want to go into edit mode, and you want to grab any bit of the model that is that you want to blend in. So, any fur, feathers, bits that are coming off that want to blend into the model itself, select them, because we need to separate them off into a different group. So, I'm going to press P, and we're going to separate that all by selection. Great. So, we've now got the base mesh, and we've got base mesh 01 right there. Excellent. So, what I want to do now, I want to go onto this group here, and I want to scroll down in vertex groups. We're in object data tabs, and then we've got our vertex groups over here. We want to then add a new group, and I'm going to call this one Fur Blend. You can call it whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. In this Fur Blend vertex group, we're then going to go over to Weight Painting. I'm then going to go to my Add Brush, and I'm going to Weight paint wherever I want it to blend into the actual model. So probably around there, probably around there, probably around there. Excellent. And we're then just going to do our usual thing of blurring it out so that it turns up all nice. So this is in the weight. weight. So kind of a, how, imagine how you weight paint your rig. We're essentially doing that. So we've got that all red. We've got that done. That's our fur blend. So this is going to tell where this wants to blend into the model and where it wants to blend into its own normals. Right. In object mode, you want to go up to your modifiers, uh, modifier properties here, and we want to add a modifier. The modifier that we're going to add is, well, it will be that one there, the data transfer. So we're going to add that, and what we're going to do for the source, we're going to select the original base mesh, because we want to pull the normals from that base mesh. We then want to grab the vertex group, the one we've just made, uh, which we called fur blend. So we're going to grab that. Nothing's changed just yet, but it will in a moment. I'm then going to hit face corner data i want custom normals there we go it's switched over i would generally recommend um nearest face interpolated but you might want to play around with these few different types of mapping and see what looks good for your model excellent so that's pretty much it for the first part now if you want to actually correct this what i will probably actually say to do is to go into weight painting mode and actually turn this view off so you are using your eye a little bit, but then if we go to our subtract brush, you'll be able to see me literally subtracting normals and how it de like unblends it, bring in my add blush brush and blend it back in. Um, and then use the blur brush because otherwise you'll get like really harsh bits like here. Just use the blur brush to bring it back down. It's literally just white painting. And there you go. You can see how that fur now is blended in. And again, it is not any different topology. It is the same topology. Very useful. Once you're done with it, so you need to, I would recommend making sure you're doing this in the model in its static position. Don't be moving the paws around or anything like that. Make sure you're happy with it. And it, because it will be really difficult to kind of remove after this point. So, what you want to do once you've got it all blended in, it's all looking fine. Go back to this one. Literally, just go over to your data modifier, apply, and then join it back into the main mesh. And it will stay as one skinned mesh renderer, but you will have your blended in fur. Missed a bit of a normal there, as you can see. But generally, that's the principle. Nothing too hard, and I hope it helps. So we'll see you in the next one, okay? You have a good day now.